Right then, I'm almost at the top of the hill fort. Downsborough Hill Fort, this is. On the edge of Wood Hill. This is Wood Hill, all around here. I just met a herd of people down there. They were up here a minute ago. 25 of them. I told them they scared all the deer away. Yeah, they were all up here. I'm having to keep my jumper on because there's lots of flies. Biting flies. There's a good viewpoint in a minute. Already there's lovely views. Look, look at the flies. Look at the flies. I can see uh, some more people coming as well. They might be coming this way, but I'm ahead of them. You can't just run up to get here. I expect they all use this for toilets while they're up here. Look at that. That would be nice to walk through, actually, that creepy wood. Oh, yeah, old trees, old oaks. I don't know what happens when I get up here. How do I get on the other tracks? I've got no idea. I'm just going to follow a track over there. Well, this is the fort, apparently. Yeah, there's lots of walks. We're doing a bit of a walk through it in a minute. But look at this, everyone. Downsborough Hill Fort I'm on. Unfortunately, there are people. 25, 30 people down there. And... Uh, Here's the view from up here. I've just walked from all over that way. Um, I parked up at Holford Green down the other side of that hill. I made a decision to do a vertical climb, which was good. Although I was going to come up, and I could have come up a path that I've just seen a couple of other people do. Um, I've just seen a couple of people which could, would have taken me up from Holford Coombe. Yeah. I'll be all up round that way or over the other side later and doing like a round trip just zoom in down there looks like there might be somebody down there something like by that tree oh no it's just a it could be a post could be a post no deer though but there's all those people look a load of people. There's some people that, yeah, they're, they're off on their own. Then you've got that herd. He's giving them, he's giving them a talk as he's going round. <sighs> lots and lots of flies here. Like I said, I'm having to keep my jumper on to stop them biting my arms. I've had enough bites this year. Right, I'm just turning off to take some photos. Right, well, I'm walking around. There is a description of this hill fort somewhere, and it, this, I think these banks bits are all part of the ramparts. We just do a little bit of a walk around here a minute. There might be another way. Yeah, this might just do a complete walk round. This is the top of the hill fort. They said that the um, it was carved out and there's still it, the shape. Still a lot of the shape exists. Um, so I'm just walking around this big forest on the hill that I've seen for years. It might even be known as the plantation. I'm not really sure. Um, if this is known as the Wood Hill, or whether that was further back. It's not always that clear on a map, actually. Yeah, yeah that's right. Ditches. See the ditches? They've got a name. Vel vellum, I think they're called. See, so we've got one bank here, then a ditch, then another. 
It's still here from what was created by the Iron Age and probably used for, for, as a fort for a long time. We just do a bit of exploring of it while we're here. I would have thought they would have had a plaque or something to uh, talk about it. Yeah, see there's the ditch. This is what we're following around now. Around the hill fort. Of course the idea of really of getting an early start was so I could do proper exploring. As you can see it's quite strenuous to get here. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going. Um, we'll go down this way. This seems more of a main track. And then you can see the ditches. Here look. I'll look I'll look up more about it. It was, um, just imagine the ancient tribes living in here though. Do you know what I mean? People live in here. Now it's, it's taking me down now. We go down, we means we've got to go up. We'll risk it. I mean, this might join up with a Coleridge walk taking you to Nether Stowey, which I don't want. I need to eventually be getting over that way. But this is part of the exploring. But I could have done with those extra two hours that I lost. If we go wrong now, it does mean I've got to walk back up here. There was another path. Well, I said, I don't really mind if today I have to just go back backtrack and not do a circular because of the time factor. <sighs> so this is Sheila on the, I think it's the 28th of August 2018. 28-8-18. I've got no idea where this is taking me by the way. It might just walk me round the fort. I would, think, I would have thought there would have been a plaque, you know. I really do. We'll just see where it goes. We'll just see where it goes. I mean, I was hoping to get to Dead Woman's Ditch. Um, it might take me there. I have got a, a basic map in my bag, which I could get out in a minute and have a look. And then I was going to pick up the main track, the main Macmillan track. I don't know. I, I've got no idea to tell the truth where I'm going now. <laughs> it's all part of the fun though. If you don't see, there's another track down there, look. See how it winds down, down there? A wander on the fort. Imagine all the ancient spirits here. All these trees representing spirits of the past. Warriors. People having a, a commanding view of the countryside. Imagine that. I reckon this might curve on down there, you know. I don't know. All I know, I've got to go back up again if necessary. But see, a climb like this isn't like going straight up, it's a gradual climb. Ah. Now in there, I'll we'll just zoom in, that's like an anthill that I've spoken about in the past. That is an anthill and you don't want to fall in them. They look like piles of sawdust. And this is the sort of place they like to hang out amongst the blueberries. Because the thing is, it gets dark earlier now. Um, it's dark, you've got to say, it's dark by 8 o'clock. Oh, I've just seen a creature, but it looks, it's not a bull, it looks like a horse. Oh, and another one. Oh, I can see three now. 
Now you always like to feel that the horses are safe. You always like to think that they're I've never had any trouble with the horses when I've passed them. They're hidden in the they're hidden in the um the camouflage quite well. Now there's another way up there. Say you wanted to go back up to the top of the fort from another direction, you could follow that. Well, I'm just keeping to this route at the moment. There's a horsey in there. See, there's two in there. They're in some valley. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now. I'll come back on in a minute.